I sometimes wish I was in here with you, Lord. Oh. Megan Ruth. I'm a Canadian living in London, England, and I react to British things. So today I'm going to be reacting to Series 1, Episode 6 of Porridge. I have reacted to the previous episodes already. If you want to watch those, I have a playlist devoted to it. I'll post a link to that down below. Just like the majority of my reactions, this video will be edited. Porridge is also one of the more strict shows that I react to in terms of copyright, so I will have to put text over top. Apologies for this, but it is unavoidable. If you wanted to watch it completely unedited without the text, I'll also post a link to my Patreon down below. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me, especially Especially my top tier patrons Joseph, Brian, Daniel, Reese, Kane, Robin, Andy, Hypnobob, Chris, Lego, Virus B, Carl, Alan, Amel, Julian, Stevo, Sam, Patrick, Lloyd, and Sean. Let's just get started, shall we? You are an effectual criminal who accepts arrest as an occupational hazard and presumably accepts imprisonment in the same casual manner. So I heard from someone who commented on the last poet reaction I did that apparently that voice, that uh, voice of the judge, is actually Ronnie Barker. So that's a fun fact. I did not know that. So he's sentencing himself to jail. <laughs> it's a bit hilarious, actually. That's why I wanted your help, see? Oh, I see. Another one. Advice you want, isn't it? Advice to the lovelorn. You want me to assess the situation and compose an appropriate response, is that it? No, it's simpler than that. I just wanted you to read it to me. <laughs> I realise that these are difficult times for you. Here we are, men without women. And you are women without men with all your attendant frustrations. See? It's a nice phrase, isn't it? Yeah. Well yeah. chosen. Yeah, got our Reader's Digest. <laughs> I realise, my love, that it is a lot to ask, to ask you to wait for me. But I will be upset, dearest one, if I hear about you having a nibble of something as how you shouldn't. <laughs> In other words, dear art, I have friends on the outside who have friends who have friends. And any word of anky panky will be followed by swift and merciless retribution. Oh, yes. I hope the weather is fine and you are feeling well in yourself. <laughs> have no evidence that my iris is ever straight from the straight and narrow. Have you? Well, I should send it in any case. I mean, a stitch in time saves a hole in your trousers, doesn't it? <laughs> right, then I'll post it. Yeah, no point in leaving it to the last minute, is there, eh? See, if, if my partner was in prison and then he sent me that letter, I'd be pissed. I, I would think that he didn't trust me, that, yeah, no, not a good idea. Don't listen to him. <laughs> well, I think of all of you locked in these little cells, and I, I think of me going out of here and well, going home, you know, to my little house and my wife, who's waiting for me. What's the matter, Mr. Bearclaw? I sometimes wish I was in here with you, Lord. Oh! <laughs> that's sad. Oh my gosh, that's sad. But you know what? I imagine there are people like that in the world that wish they were in prison because their life is just so miserable. I mean, at least in prison, you get a bed to sleep in, you get three meals a day, you know, like, it's just, what a, what a sad world we're living in. What the same ones you mean? <laughs> Anyhow, never mind the expense, I am coming up visiting day to put your mind at rest. I will get Saturday morning off at the laundry. I miss you and think of us when you was at home and you used to take mine. Oh. <laughs> well, I used to work. <clears throat> Well, it's, it's, um, it's a bit personal in the next bit, you know what I mean? I, uh, I don't think I should really read it out, you know, loud, not in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Your wives are criminals' wives. They belong to the criminal classes, but all their inherent traits of slovenliness and promiscuity. Our wives are the wives of uniformed men. Used your life of service, duty, decency, and... Yeah, but what if you marry someone and then you don't know that they're gonna commit a crime? That's not fair. I almost feel bad for criminals' wives, especially the wives that, um, you know, married them not with the intention that they'd be a criminal. It's not their fault. It's not their fault that they co committed a crime. And if they helped them commit the crime, then they would be in prison too. So that's not a fair analysis, in my opinion. <laughs> Anyway, I think your old lady would be very glad of a bit of a rest from all that cleaning and pressing, wouldn't she? My wife has never had any desire other than to be by my side. Before prison service, you know, Fletcher, I was in the army. 
I was a drill sergeant in the Argyle and Southern Highlanders. <laughs> I'm not surprised. That explains a lot that he was in the army. Yep, not surprised at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never have guessed that. <laughs> see? See? And even though I was posted to some far-flung places, Mari would always be with me. Couldn't be much further, this place, could it? I've had to come from London. I had to make Houston by A. There was no buffet on the train. Never is, is there? Or if there is, it's yesterday's sausage rolls. I only come from Bolton, but it's taken me all morning to get here. Change at Manchester, change at Carlisle. At least when it was in strange ways, I only had a bus ride. Oh, it's us that suffered, Chuck. Us that has to cope with no money, a family to run, and no man about the house. Why are there no men on that bus? Why is it just women? Surely these men that are in prison have sons or fathers. Or, you know, best friends. I don't know. But, like... Surely there has to be at least one man on that bus. Why is it just women? That's not realistic. That's not realistic. You have got a man about the house. I've come all the way from Kent because of this suspicious man. I got this letter. Me too. Yeah, but what more? Listen to this. I realize, my love, that it is a lot to ask to ask you to wait for me. But I will be upset, dearest one, if I hear about you having a nibble of something you shouldn't. Oh, there is a man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I said, where's your mother? She couldn't come, Dad. Well, she's not ill, is she? No, Dad, she... She what? She's found another man, Dad. You say, Mr. Barraclough? Oh, yes, sir. Isabel? Norman? I've got this, uh, this compassionate parole, see? Yeah, so they told us. Yeah, well... There's no need for you to stay, Sergeant Norris, thank you. Yes, well, I uh, just thought I'd... Uh, yeah, yeah, well, there's no need for worries on that score, is there? So, uh, if you'll excuse us. Yeah, go on, Sergeant. Push up, eh? Leave us alone, eh? All right. Uh, I hope everything... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, you know what I mean. Yes, thanks, yeah. Hello, Norman. Hello, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> what a genius move! Oh my god! Yeah, I mean, she might not be a criminal, but she thinks like one. Oh wow! <laughs> Yeah, and don't be in too much of a hurry to come back neither. Your mother and I have a lot of time to make up, haven't we, darling? Oh. Just like when I was a kid. Yeah. If you give me some money, I'll go to the pictures. Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, wait a minute. That's how your little brother was born. Go on, puddle off. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. The best things in life ain't free, but the best thing in life is being free. Oh, Norman, you say such lovely things. I do quite like that. The best things in life aren't free, but the best thing in life is being free. I like that. I'm going to start using that. I, I agree. Freedom! <laughs> what made you think of that? I didn't. Randolph Scott just said it before you come in. <laughs> Some of us was in the pub, or eating roast beef, or watching Spurs win at home, or having a sing-song with their friends and relatives. Or lying in a big, crisp bed with our big, crisp old lady. <laughs> Have a banana. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me have you. Back to yourself now. Come on, Warren. Have your arms. Well, you can see a difference in Fletcher, you know. 
I think Mr. Venable's sending him home has uh, made him realise what he's been missing. No, it suddenly dawned on him he's been on a mugs game all these years. Oh, yes. He's had the cockiness knocked out of him. Yeah. We've seen the last of his leery insolence. You can't beat the system, Mr. Barraquel. <laughs> <laughs> wait wait this is, means something bad over here this means like f you right i keep forgetting that i actually learned that relatively recently yes this means you, you might as well just be flipping the bird if you're doing this over in the uk and it has something to do with france and bows and fighting france and cutting off the fingers so they couldn't uh, fight with bow and arrows or something. I think that's the story that I was told if I remember correctly. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't done this already. See you next time. Bye.